So Wizards of the Coast recently added the starter deck duel option to Magic Arena so that you can play just starter decks against opponents who are just playing starter decks, which is good for lots of reasons, especially for new players. So let's go through the different reasons why this is good and what you can actually use this option for, especially if you're new to Magic Arena. Before we get started, don't forget you can like this video and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any future videos that go over these kind of value-based tips. So, the Starter Deck Duel is a new option that's been added to Arena. And if you're a new player and you don't have a very big card collection at the moment, if the Starter Decks are pretty much what you have, um, and you don't have anything else that's particularly more powerful, then you can do Starter Deck Duels against other players and you're gonna be working on a level playing field. Now I used to recommend doing the jump in events to do this because you can pick from different packs and they're pretty balanced against other packs. You might get one that works better than another, but you can play against other people who are only using jump in packs, which means you aren't going to be playing against other players who have built uh, really effective decks and they use them in the ranked or even in the standard play queue if you want to have an easier battle you don't want to put a starter deck up against anything else other than another starter deck so what you can get from doing this event for anyone you can get some rare individual card rewards icrs from doing these events now you have to get at least one win to get the uh to get the first rare card your second win gets you the second rare card and the third one gets you a mystery cosmetic, which is a bit like what you get in the midweek magic rewards as well. There's no entry fee to uh, to join this event, so you can do it as many times as you want and you can change deck as many times as you want. Unlike with the jump in events where you would normally pay a thousand gold to select your deck and you'd have to resign and pay another thousand gold to get a different color. Well, now we have all 10 different starter decks available and you can switch between them at any time. The other reason why this is really, really good for beginner players in Magic Arena is because you can easily get your daily quests by playing these matches. So in your daily quests, you might have um, 500 gold for doing white or green spells we have here 500 gold for doing white or red and 500 gold for doing black and green now, if you don't have very many decks or let's say you've built a budget mono red deck or whatever budget deck you can build and you have this quest for doing black or green spells well you can always re-roll that quest in the hope that you might get something that's red or kill 15 of your opponent's creatures instead but if you want to be able to complete quests that don't require spells of the color that you tend to play if you don't have very many options then you can always say white and green spells let's go to the starter deck option which you can find here under constructed events it's the starter deck jewel and we can say white or green spells well we have a white or green deck we can use and we can play this and every card you cast is going to be adding to your daily quest so it's really easy to complete those daily quests now also, because you're on a level playing field and only playing against other people that have similar strength decks, is that it's going to be maybe slightly easier for you to get those daily wins as well, because you get 250 gold for your first daily win and 100 gold for the next three daily wins as well. So that's 550 gold you can get from just getting four daily wins. Now, if you're using a constructed deck that isn't the best, getting those daily wins is going to be hard if you're in the standard play queue or in the ranked queue. But playing in the starter deck dual format, it's going to be slightly easier for you, at least because you're on a level playing field, to get more daily wins. Also, it tends to be the case that because new players are playing in this format, and I'm not saying this in a way that's um, taking advantage of new players, but they tend to make a lot of mistakes. You might find uh, players who cast instants at sorcery speed for no reason, who attack their 2-2 two -two into your 3-3 three -three and they have no trick up their sleeve and they just lose creatures and they just they make mistakes sometimes. This is a great way for you to learn not to make those mistakes if you do happen to do that. And I'm going to have a video coming up very soon that goes through the mistakes that you can avoid. But if you're in the starter deck dual format, you probably will find your opponent make some misplays every so often. So those daily wins might be even easier to get than you think. And right now, as of recording this video, we have these 10 different two color starter decks. 
that are available. But actually, in the next few months, we're going to have different starter decks available because a lot of these use cards that are not going to be standard playable in the future. We have cards that are from Crimson Vow or from Midnight Hunt. Once these cards rotate out of standard, we're going to have 10 different two color starter decks, presumably, but I'll make a video when it comes out. So I'll keep you updated on what actually happens. That means we're going to have a whole new range of different starter decks we can use, which will make this another option for playing different decks that you haven't tried before and will mean that you don't have to craft cards that you're going to get for free in those events as well. So it's better to wait to see what we get before you craft any new cards, unless you really, really want them. You also have the benefit of when you win with different decks in this um, starter deck duel, you're going to be able to unlock those decks and add them to your collection. So you can play them in other places, as it says here, like in Spark Rank, which is pretty good for new players as well. And the last thing you might be wondering, if you're going to do the starter deck duel, which of the 10 different decks are the strongest or the best to play? They're kind of balanced, but are there any that work out better than others? Well, I guess it depends on your play style. I would recommend trying out all of them. Some things like Ignite the Forge might be a little bit more complicated to master all the triggers and exactly when to do things. Well, I've had quite a lot of success with Strength in Numbers with the Citizens and Blossoming Growth is great for making some really huge creatures and has a few good tricks you can do with that as well. And I guess I've also done pretty well with Angelic Accountants. So I think the best thing you can do is just try out different ones and see which one works best for you. The difference in win rate you get from playing the different starter decks probably isn't going to be that huge. So just play the one that you enjoy the most or the one you need to complete your daily quests. So that's everything I have to say on the starter deck duel. Let me know in the comments below if I've missed anything or if you have any other opinions about this format. Have you tried it? Is it useful to you or do you think it's a waste of time? Let me know in the comments below. And don't forget, you can like this video and subscribe for more future Magic Arena content like this. Thanks for watching this video to the end and I will see you in the next one.